Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sheila Katz, and on behalf of the 200,000 National Council of Jewish Women Advocates across the country, I'm here to say loudly that Jews support abortion access. And happy Hanukkah, by the way. It's only fitting that we are here outside the Supreme Court during Hanukkah, a holiday about bringing light in the darkness and fighting against religious persecution. I am grateful that this country guarantees our freedom to act according to our religious beliefs. These beliefs include our position on abortion. The Torah is clear on this issue. Abortion is not only permitted in Judaism, but in some cases required when the life of the pregnant person is at stake. Restrictive abortion laws rooted in just one understanding of when life begins limit our ability to fully practice our religious tradition. We all should be able to make our own healthcare decisions in alignment with our beliefs. If laws like the one being debated here today are allowed to take effect, we not only lose our constitutional right to an abortion, but our constitutional right to religious freedom. Spoiler alert, Jews have abortions. Christians have abortions. Muslims have abortions. People of faith and people of no faith have abortions. Jewish scripture mandates kavod habriot, respecting human dignity. People of faith believe in compassion and dignity. We support the right of every individual to access the medical care they need. And as a reminder, we are commanded to love thy neighbor, not sue thy neighbor. For too long, this country has allowed a small but loud group from the religious right to dominate the narrative around abortion and religion, claiming that abortion access is a violation of religious freedom. So we ask them, Whose religious freedom are you trying to protect? Religious freedom in this country is meant to be a shield to protect people of minority faith communities, not a sword to discriminate against us. The Supreme Court is supposed to uphold our constitutional rights, not tear them down. We must not let the goalposts get moved. We must not cede any moral ground in this fight. These are our rights. We must claim them. I want to close with a blessing for our work together ahead, our work to create a world where our rights are not up for debate. May we have the resilience to keep going even when it feels like the arc of the moral universe is taking too long to bend towards justice. May we always center those most impacted by abortion bans and restrictions to care. May we create a world where nobody ever feels shamed or stigmatized for seeking or receiving abortion care. May we remember that we are the majority and we can and will shape the narrative of abortion in this country. Amen.